Hey, yeah, it's uh, probably very loud. Um, it's Retro Spirits Gaiden with uh, Super Mario Kart on the Super NES stroke Super Famicom. Um, a game that needs no introduction. Uh, here is Super Mario Kart on the Super Famicom on SNES. It's a racing game. I said it needed no introduction, and then I uh, did an introduction because. I'm a petulant prick. Um, always pick the monkey. Pick the monkey boy. Um, so, you're about to see some epic uh, gameplay. Uh, some skills. Elite skills. Um, as the kids don't say anymore because they've moved on. Um, yeah. So, this is the first time I've played this in a fair old while. Uh, Donkey Kong being my favourite character. And I immediately show I am out of practice. So, Snares Mario Kart. Yes, out of all the Mario Karts, um, this is possibly my favourite one. I think they perfected it. I think they got it right, absolutely right first time. Um, there's a few things that you may change. Um, things like uh, weapons randomly disappearing when there's too many weapons on the track. Uh, but in general, oh, and the um, sort of noisy graphics. Uh, they've got lots of, uh, lots of pixel shimmering going on. Uh, other than that, it's, uh, it plays like an absolute dream. Um, when you get good at it, you feel like you uh, have achieved something. Whereas in the previous, in the uh, sorry, the Mario Kart that follow, you can be uh, great at those games and still come last because of the. Frickin' blue shells. Uh, blue shells do not apply in this game. So, um, what other things make Mario Kart awesome? I mean, you all know Mario Kart. You've played Mario Kart. The SNES version, in my opinion, is the best one. And it's got to do with the length of the tracks. Uh, the, um, you know, there's between 10 and 20 seconds a lap, most of them. Do five laps. That's your race over. Next race. Uh, Mario Kart 64 got it completely wrong in this regard for me. Uh, the races went on for far too long and uh, they were far too boring. Um, here you've got 60 frames a second. Sweet goodness, slick, super smooth mode 7. Um, you've got, you know, it's a shame this, the snares can't really scale sprites as well as it can scale the backgrounds because the sprites do look a little jerky every now and again. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, you've got a bit of racing perfection, really. Um, in that it takes genuine skill and practice to be good. And there's no cheap um, weapons that can rob you of first place on the final corner of lap 5. Which cannot be said of all the other versions of Mario Kart subsequent to this one. Although, I haven't played the Game Boy Advance version, or the DS, so I can't vouch for those. But the uh, SNES one definitely uh, is all about the skills. Shame they never made a sequel on the SNES. Um, a bit more of this would have been nice. Um, I guess that's where the Game Boy Advance one comes in. Uh, maybe I'll need to check that one out. But yeah, these uh, tracks are iconic. Uh, in a lot of ways. Um, you can play this on the uh, SNES, uh, SNES Mini. It's a pretty good version. I'm playing this on a Frame Meister. So, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm playing it on a Retro Freak. So I'm not playing it on original hardware. I'm playing it under emulation. Um, what do you get in the box? Well, you get a nice yellow box for the Super Famicom version, which is the way version I'm playing. NTSC all the way. Um, you get like a Little, little instruction manual, not learning it. Um, I don't know if I've got a complete version. Um, I don't know if there's like a moves card or something that came with it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty bare bones, really. Um, the box is yellow and red, which is quite striking. Um, yeah, and it doesn't have the uh, doesn't have any sort of um, rendered graphics content, which is nice. Which is some of the latest SNES games like Donkey Kong. Had all this horrible sort of looking rendery stuff on it. This one doesn't have those. But yeah, always pick the monkey boy with the white muscle top. Would be my advice. Bowser's pretty good as well. Um, do you like the heavy characters in this? 
there's a nice feel of weightiness. Uh, there's tips and tricks. Uh, the designers have put in some extra bits and bobs, like uh, if you hit a wall and you press jump at the right time, you can bounce off the wall, continue at top speed. That's always quite cool. Um, and there's a cheat code where you can make your characters mini. When you pick them, I believe. Um, obviously, there's an awesome two-player mode, which I'm not uh, doing here because I have no friends. And there's a nice battle mode where you can uh, take balloons off the opponent by hitting them with weapons. Um, which they've got some arenas specific for battle mode in this. Um, yeah, great game. Um, nearly got the mushroom there. Always thought that was a muffin when I was a kid. Um, yeah, looked like a uh, looked like a um, blueberry muffin. Um, yeah, great music, great sounds, all appropriate, all appropriate to uh, Mario. Um, yeah, not a huge amount extra to say about it. It is an expensive game if you want to buy it on original format. I don't know how much the PAL version of the game is, but the Japanese one will definitely set you back thirty quid. Um, in my opinion, it's it's probably worth thirty quid. Um, although they, you know, there's loads of copies of it around. A bot, and this is a thirty quid for a boxed complete copy in good condition. This isn't just for a loose cartridge. Um, someone wants thirty quid for a loose cartridge. Just kick him square in the balls, because uh, it will be a bloke. Uh, kick him square in the balls. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you got to collect the coins. The coins give you a uh, a top speed. Um, Yoshi there, stupid face. Um, yeah, these tracks with the right ang right hand uh, right angle corners, uh, pretty fun. Um, quite like them. I'm a bit out of practice there. Shouldn't have hit that thwomp. Um, unusual. This uh, game is uh, harder in single player mode. There's more stuff in the tracks, so there's more thwomps on this level um, than it would be if you're playing two players. Um, which is fairly annoying um, when you're trying to get all the cups. Um, it's got a good version of Rainbow Road in this game as well, uh, which you think is in Mario Kart 8 2. I think they remade it. Um, yeah, classic game. Do I need to continue talking about this game? Possibly not. Um, let's talk about the weather. The weather is um, grey, it's December. Um, it's grey like like my heart. And this track actually, this track's grey as well, isn't it? Um let's not talk about that. Let's talk about uh why the next version of Mario Kart is so shit. Uh well Mario Kart sixty four isn't isn't shit. But it's not good. I'll do a review of that. Uh, I'll I'll get a uh, video of it. Um the frame rate on that one sucks, and the um, track design isn't isn't great. What with it being too long, too boring. Um, the handling model changed. Uh, the tight handling on this, it's got very taut, very taut handling. Um, like a, uh, well, it's just like a, if you were driving a uh, a motorized uh, go kart. Whereas the next game is more like a uh, tea tray on ice, um, and you've also got the horrible pre-rendered sprites in the next game. So Mario Kart 64 has got the uh, the curse of the the old uh, mid 90s CG thing going on. Whereas this, in general, is pretty clean, apart from, like I say, the uh, track has probably got too much detail in it causing like the pixel shimmer which isn't which you probably wouldn't have cared about back in the day but these days um, it's really noticeable it's not, the image isn't super clean uh, like the uh, middle third is just noise isn't it but you know these tracks are ingrained in my memory um, so I don't necessarily need to see what's coming up. I mean, not that you can't see what's coming up, it's just um, 
it might be offensive to young people's eyes. Uh, they're so used to uh, clarity and fidelity. You could say that about any game, though, can you? Any retro game. Um, got the banana there, the evil banana, with its two hollow, soulless eyes. Um, that, I mean, I should have avoided that fireball, really. It was, I mean, it was hot. It was very visible. And uh, oh come on, this is just pathetic now. Uh, yeah, showing my uh, driving skills here. Um, I have none. Uh, oh, irritating. Um, oh god, I'm hitting everything on this track now. Um, yeah, the only problem with uh, Donkey Kong is that he takes a while to get to his top speed. Um, other than that, um, there are any problems with him. Um, oh, for God's sake. Oh, I'm playing so badly. Oh, my God. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Well, never mind. Uh, that's game over for me. Um, I've got nothing more to say about it, other than you, if you have a Super NES or a Super Famicom, you should definitely get this game. Um, it's amazing in two players. Um, and I just... It's just game over. I'm, I'm all ranked out. Um, no, I'm not going to retry it. I'm going to turn it off. Um... Alright, get that, 30 quid, worth it. Uh, see you later, bye!